Hey, hey, hey. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. How is everybody tonight? My name is Robin. Behind the camera, behind the computer is my husband, Bill. And we are coming to you from just outside of Lewiston, Idaho. We love to craft and we love to share our crafts with you and give you some ideas, some inspiration to do something creative every day. So welcome to our little craft studio. Come on in, say hello. I am going to pull this up on my phone so I can be a little closer to it, to the comments. So say hi. There we are. Hello. Hi, Leanna. Hey, Alana and Leanna and anybody else out there. Thanks for hopping on. If you are watching and there's a red box up here that says live, you're watching us live. If it's not there, no box there, it means you're watching the replay. We love having you whenever you watch. So please say hashtag replay if you are watching the replay and we will give you a shout out also. Hey, Alana, you made it. Yay. Cheryl, hello. How is everybody? I'm still sad, Alana. Um, it's going to take me a while to get over it. Anyway, if you are watching a live and you watch other people's lives, you kind of know the drill. We would love it if you would like and love, like or love our page, follow our page, and share out our video if you are so inclined to your page, to any craft groups you belong to, or if you have some crafty friends that you think would enjoy this. So thank you so much. I haven't made you. It has been a while. It has been a while, but you've got some time on your hands now. You're going to be watching all our lives, right? You are you. you are officially on a unplanned vacation. I watch all your lives. You do too. You do. You watch all my lives. Okay, so tonight we are kind of winging it. I have been looking at Pinterest and seeing things on Facebook and craft groups. And you know what's really popular right now is, is decorating wooden spoons. Who knew, right? So I went to the Dollar Tree and look what I got. I got a bunch of wooden spoons. I got some wooden forks. I got some wooden spatulas. And we're just going to kind of play around with we're going to play around with some Mod Podge and some napkins and some torch paste. And we're going to see what we can do with these puppies. What do you say? How many of you have decorated spoons? I've been paddled by them before. They have, well, it will be, uh, it'll be a very pretty paddle now. My, my mom said she broke a couple on me. Mm -hmm. I bet. I bet she did. Okay, anybody, has anybody seen decorated spoons? Has anybody decorated any spoons? So let's see, how are we going to start? We're going to do some Mod Podge. We're going to do messy Mod Podge and we're going to do neat Mod Podge. And then we are going to try some torch paste and see how that turns out. I don't know. It's not the highest quality bamboo, so, but they're only a dollar and a quarter, so... What can it hurt, right? So let me snip the tags off of some of these. Okay. Have you been to Dollar Tree lately? Cheryl says, not me, but you'd like to. Well, let me inspire you. Melissa. Melissa, welcome. Hello, and thank you so much for sprinkling. You are like our chief sprinkler. You are like our rain bird. Get it? Rainbird? I get it. Okay. Funny. If you have to explain it, it's not funny. Alana loves decorated spoons. Woohoo! Okay. So got the got the tags off of these. So let me set these aside for a minute. Oops. I'm knocking over my thing there. Okay, so I've got a spoon. And let me show you some of the napkins. I might, I might do it. I don't know. I love this. 
I don't even remember where I got it. I want to say it was like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or one of those places. Isn't that a beautiful sunflower? So I could see this sunflower being right there in the middle. Okay. I also have this napkin. I used it on another project, but I really liked it. So I might do some with that. And I also have this napkin that I might do. So let's start, let's start with, what should I start with? Let's start with, let's start with the messy Mod Podge. So let me see. I think I'm going to use this one for the messy Mod Podge. Okay. So messy Mod Podge is what I call it. It's when you don't dry it. You just kind of put your napkin on while the Mod Podge is still wet. Now I'm going to take my napkin. I think this is a three ply. So I'm going to take, I think those, those two plies are together. I'm going to take everything off except the top layer. Yep. Here's one layer. Here's another layer. So I'm down to just a single layer. Now, before I do this, I'm going to paint this because the napkin will kind of go sheer. You know what? Maybe I'm not going to paint it. Let's see what it's like without painting it. And I, I will paint the one when I do the sunflower. Okay, so Mod Podge. Thanks. I like it. I love those sunflowers too. Have you seen our sunflowers transfer? I'm going to have to do something with that before it sells out. Okay, so this is Mod Podge. This happens to be gloss Mod Podge. So I'm just going to spread it on and I'm going to go to the front and, and I'm winging this. I don't really have this planned out. So I'm going to go part way down and I'm going to set that right there and I'm going to take the napkin and I'm going to Push it down in that wet Mod Podge. And then this, this always turns out really wrinkly, but that might be okay. I don't know. Okay, so I'm trying to kind of smooth it out. And I'm going to kind of flop it over the edges. Oops, I got my iron going for my neat Mod Podge. Looks good, and I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go down the handle. Like I said, we're making this up as we go. I'm gonna go down the handle. And we shall see how this turns out. Okay, back down, try to smooth out the wrinkles. Okay, it's not really showing too much. Uh, too, it's not really, it's not really wrinkling up too much. So that's good. Now I'm going to kind of trim some of this off. So you, you only do one side? I think I'm just, I'm going to do one side and the sides. But I'm not gonna, I think I'm gonna not do the back. Okay, I'm gonna go trim some of that off. I might save that for the might save that for a fork. Hey Amy Joe. Do you go by Amy or Amy Joe? Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Let's, I'm gonna switch up scissors. I'm just going to kind of snip this so maybe it lays what down. Are you doing? I am mod podging a napkin onto a wooden spoon is what I'm doing. 
Okay, now that Mod Podge dried. I don't know. I think it's sort of crazy. You think it's crazy? Well, but I that's what they're that's what they're doing on Pinterest. You gotta you gotta be you gotta be with it. Well, I'm not one of you're the cool not, kids. You're not one of the cool kids. Wow. Julie, Judy Flores said I was one of the cool kids. Well, there you go. Okay, so I'm pushing that over the edge. Okay. Up against the edge, and that Mod Podge keeps drying. It keeps drying. I should just do the iron-on method, because that you need it dry. So how is everybody tonight? Today is what? Wednesday. We normally don't get to come on on Wednesday nights because we are normally at a Bible study, but it got canceled this week. So we have, we had a free night. So we thought we would hop on. It seems like when we go on earlier in the day, we don't get... We don't get the, the, uh, the, well, we definitely don't get the same audience, but it seems like we don't get a lot of you, our, our normal audience, when we go live earlier in the day. Okay, so I've got that down, and I'm going to, see, it's all, it's all flappy. I'm going to get my sanding sponge, and I'm going to just kind of, Knock off that edge. Now these these spoons are for decorative use only. They're not, you won't be stirring with these. They're just for decoration to hang on your wall or stick in a mason jar, just for decor. So go over the top and show how you're doing okay. that. I am just, I'm taking the edge of this sanding sponge and I'm just hitting the edge of that spoon and knocking off, knocking, knocking that off. Okay, so here we go. There is, doesn't that kind of look like Pioneer Woman? Right? What do you think? Do we like it? Shall we do shall we do a spatula, a matching spatula? No, I think you have to Yay, do Linda, a fork. you made it. I think you have to do that. No, we're gonna do a fork for something different. Oh, okay, fine. Well, we so could do it. Okay. okay. Okay, so let's do let's see, do I have enough? Let's do a matching spatula. Like I said, we're winging it tonight. We're making it up as we go. So I'm going to do the same thing. Is there a front or a back? Doesn't matter because we're not going to use this as a spatula. It's just going to be decoration. Okay, so wet Mod Podge. It does wrinkle a little bit. So if you wanted it super, super smooth, this might not be the method for you. I'm going to lay that down, smooth it out, okay, some little wrinkles there, but that's okay, I just press them down. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to trim some of this. Get it out of my way. So do you do who decorates with who does decoupage with napkins? Anybody here decoupage with napkins? Okay, I'm going to do the edges. I, 
think Linda does because Linda has sent me some napkins in the past. So you must you must decoupage with napkins or do something with you do some sort of craft with napkins. Okay. Okay. Now if my if my napkin gets too wet, it it kind of starts to tear. So that's not that's not good. Alana does. You you know what? I don't think I have seen any of your Mod Podge napkins. You need to send me you all need to send me pictures to the VIP group. Is everybody here in my VIP group? If you're not, you need to get over there. I need to get that up and active and busy and I want to see people's crafts. So if you are not in my VIP group, and Melissa's done a little bit of it. Do you do you enjoy it? You do a lot of things, Melissa. I've seen you posting things. Okay. If you're not in my VIP group, I'm giving you an assignment. My VIP group is absolutely free. It is it is just my private group where I have to approve you. To be in it and in that private group I can offer sales and discounts and bargains and things I can't do on my public group so if you are not a member of my VIP group your assignment is to type in VIP and go ask to join okay so again I'm taking my sanding block and I'm just hitting the edge of that And that is trimming off the edge. Also, okay, good. Yes, you need to. You need to. And you're going to have lots of time to craft now, girl. Okay. And I see a little bit, a little bit tore right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of cheat and I'm going to fix that. I'm going to put down a little bit of Mod Podge. And I'm going to take a little scrap of this. And I'm going to lay it right down there. And no one will ever know. I will. No one will ever know that that wasn't original. Okay, so here we go. We have a spoon and a spatula. Oops. Spoon and a spatula. Pretty cute. Okay. Now what I could do is go over it with just a layer of uh, plain Mod Podge. Kind of give it a, a coating. In fact, maybe let's, let's do that. Because we're just playing, right? So I'm just going to take a layer of Mod Podge. I'm going to go over the whole thing. That will kind of uh, keep it a little more water resistant in case it gets damp somewhere. So what if you wanted to uh, what if you wanted to do a spoon decorated like that that you actually wanted to use? What could you um, put on? Well they do have a dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Um, it takes it, it's just like regular Mod Podge, but it takes like 31 days to cure. But I think maybe if you use that, it would be it would be something that I don't know. I don't know if it's food safe. I just know it's dishwasher safe. Don't quote me on that. Okay. Hey, Patty, welcome. We are decorating spoons and spatulas and forks from the Dollar Tree and we like I said we're kind of winging it we're just making it up as we go and this is the wet method with Mod Podge so I'm putting the napkin down while the Mod Podge is wet and it's a little bit messy but and it wrinkles up your napkin a little bit but if you don't mind a little bit of wrinkle, it doesn't really show up that much on this. Okay, I'm going to hit this with a dryer. 
They are very colorful. They're, I use napkins. Napkins and Mod Podge. Okay, I'm going to set those aside. Okay, so next, now I'm going to try the dry method of Mod Podge, where I dry the Mod Podge, I put the napkin down on dry, on a dry surface, and then I iron it. Now, I'm, I've got my little Cricut Easy Mini Press, so I'm hoping I can get it inside the bowl of that, of that, uh, What's it called? Spoon? Okay. You know what? I have one of these. I've already taken the back off. I used I used this on something else, and I saved the excess. So this is just a single ply of that napkin, and I think, I think I'm just going to decorate the bowl of this. We'll see. I might, I might add something else to it later. Okay, so I'm going to just put Mod Podge here, and I'm not even going to go on the edges. I'm just going to go inside that bowl. With my Mod Podge, this happens to be glossy, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be. And I'm going to dry that. Okay, so we've got our wet Mod Podge. This is going to be the dry method Mod Podge. Okay, that's dry. I'm going to take this napkin. I think I'm going to trim it. Lay that there. Now the Mod Podge isn't wet. So I'm just laying this in there and I'm going to try with my iron. What I need, probably need, probably need parchment paper, but I just want a little piece of it. I just want to protect my iron because I could um, activate the inks on these uh, napkins. So I'm just taking my iron and just going around and trying to reactivate that Mod Podge. Yes, Linda, they are gorgeous. I love those sunflowers. I wish I remember where I got You know, I think I probably still have the, the package of them. I think it was TJ Maxx. Or Marshall, one of those. I think they're owned by the same people. Okay. So the heat from the iron, I just kind of have this on medium. The heat from the iron is kind of melting, re-liquefying re the Mod Podge. And that is causing the napkin to stick. A couple of spots I missed. Again, because it's, it's a bowl-shaped a little bit harder to get this in there. So this is less messy than the wet method. But I think that is a fixed. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing with my sanding block. And I'm just going to go around the edges. Just remove that excess. This way I don't have to try and cut it with my scissors and then have, but I wouldn't get it exact. I might have to get an exacto knife and just 
Okay. Okay, so there we go. Whoops. I have that sunflower in the bowl of the spoon. Now, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to take a stem and put a stem partway down. What do you think of that? Okay, so I'm going to kind of cut this off. And let's put this there. Okay, I'm going to add a little more Mod Podge. Down to about there. And dry it. Yes to the stem. Okay, good. I'm, I'm, I could probably do the stem all the way down, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to do part of it. To put that right there. And I've got my parchment paper. I've got my iron. that. Okay, let's see if that's stuck. Yep, that looks stuck. Okay, same thing. Sanding block. Sand off those edges. There we go. What do you think? Do, do, do. Thank you, Melissa. They are, they're kind of fun. You can just kind of go to town with it. Okay, so this next one I'm going to do with the fork because we're gonna do a fun method on this. So same thing, I'm gonna do, I think I will just automatically go down to the stem. So more Mod Podge. We're going to do the, the dry method again. So I got a pretty decent layer, not super, super thick. I'm going to dry it. Yeah, I have seen them. I have seen them. These are kind of dry. I have seen a bunch of them. They're all just kind of sticking up and they're in a, like a little crock or a um, mason jar. Very cute. So you either find napkins or something that matches your kitchen, and you are good to go. I have some leopard print. Hey, Nancy, welcome from Minnesota. We are decorating. We are decorating some wooden spoons and other wooden utensils. So these two, if you're just joining us, these two we did with the wet Mod Podge method. So. We put the nap, we use napkins and we put the napkins down on top of wet Mod Podge. So there's a few little wrinkles, not too bad. And then we put a coat of 
we put a coat of Mod Podge over the top. So it's kind of it's kind of a little glossy. Now I may go ahead and do that with this, but I, I think if I put Mod Podge on top of this, it's going to wrinkle it up a little bit, but I don't think it really matters. I don't think you can tell. Okay, so let me do another panel of this sunflower. And I'm going to put some of the stem down the handle. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to push it down. I'm going to put my parchment paper over the top. Now this method is the dry Mod Podge. So I've dried the Mod Podge and I'm taking an iron and I am just ironing over that napkin and the Mod Podge. The heat from the napkin, I mean, the heat from the iron reactivates the Mod Podge and it melts it into the napkin and adheres it to our surface. doing looks pretty good okay now you notice uh, I did this one on the with the fork on purpose because there's no way I'm going to be able to get this there's no way I'm going to be able to get that sanding block inside there so we are going to we're going to light it on fire so let me trim some of this off I did this before and I did not burn my house down. So I am hoping that I can do that again too. Okay, so I've got this. You can see the napkin is through there. I am going to, oh, <laughs> he does not trust me. <laughs> I'll put that right there. I can't see anything. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, what did I do with it? Here it is. I'm going to light a candle. Not not in prayer. I'm just, well, it might be. I'm going to light a candle because it's easier to manipulate than trying to hold this thing in. And Okay, so what will happen is I will light the napkin on fire and it will melt, it will burn the napkin up to where the Mod Podge is. And then it will put itself out. If all goes well okay and then it will burn through these little tines in the in the in the fork okay so are you gonna go overhead for this yeah, okay you do have that fire extinguisher though right okay okay so okay so I'm going to light that and get it go Look at it go. It is not burning the wood. It might be kind of scorching it a little bit. And I am going to, I'm just going to snip this so it has an edge to burn. Okay, so this is why I have it on a candle. Okay, I'm going to get those started. There you go. Do you see it? Look at it. It just, it just eats up that napkin and goes and then stops when, as soon as it hits the Mod Podge. Is that not cool? Okay. Let me blow that out. Okay. Now there, there is a little bit of ash, but it just, it just kind of brushes away. And so here is, here is our second set. Woohoohoo! Now I didn't go all the way down. I could I could continue it down with more napkin or I could just kind of put it in a jar or something so that wouldn't so that wouldn't show. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so two mod podge. Wet method, dry method ironed on and flames. Okay, yes, that was neat. The thing you could probably do is like paint the handle. I could, yes, down. I could. Or I could wrap it in jute. I just messed that up. I could mess, I could, I could mess it up. I could wrap it in jute. 
if I wanted to, or ribbon or something like that. I'll, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that. Okay, so that now what we're going to try, um, let's do it with a spoon and a spatula. We are going to use one of our transfers. We're going to use Bake Me a Cake, only we're just going to use the little cupcake. And we're not going to chalk it on. We are going to use torch paste. Okay, this is called torch paste. And it is a method of like phony faux wood burning. Or is it faux? I don't know. I'm not using a flame, but I'm using high heat. Okay, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna coat this with anything. I'm not gonna wax this. I'm going to get my transfer out. And I'm going to fuzz it, just that corner. Okay, cute little design. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. But we're just going to use that little center part. So I'm really just going to fuzz. That. I'm just going to fuzz that cupcake. And let's put it down on the spatula first. And I'm going to kind of center it. And that's not wanting to stick. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay. So it's not wanting to stick to this bamboo. So I'm gonna push it down really hard. Now this torch paste is, I don't, I have no idea what chemical it is, but we're going to apply it like paste. I have done it before and it has not damaged our transfers. The company would probably say it would void your warranty on your on your transfers, but I have tried it and I have never had a problem as long as I clean them up right away okay? because of whatever chemical this is. You can get this on torchpaste.com and I believe they also have a site on Etsy. I think I have I think I have a link to it. And I'm going to look. I'll look one up on I think it's in the guide. No, I think it's in the guides. And that should be our Amazon link. Our, our dogs are getting very excited. Children, children, and us. Yes. Although you could, you could, Melissa, you could take, you know, you could take like an emery board or something, and that would go through the tines too. So it, you don't have to use flame, but. Why not if you can? Anyway, but you could use an emery board or you could use actual sandpaper and and get that done. So I'm just I'm going to use a half of a mini squeegee to get that on there. Now, torch paste is is kind of a paste. It's about the same consistency as our as our chalk paste. So I'm going to put a little bit on. It's yellow, it's orange um not because it's going to burn orange, but they've colored it so that you can see where it has been applied. So I'm going to just, same thing I do with chalk paste. I'm going to just push it through that screen. And then I will have my design in the, chalk, in the torch paste. Scrape off the excess, don't need very much. And then I'm going to peel this off. Okay, and can you see where the torch paste is? It has that little, it has that little cupcake design. So I'm gonna let that soak in for a minute or two and I'm going to immediately clean this just because it's a, a a, a chemical. I don't want it to sit on our transfers any longer than necessary. And we're going to use it again for the spoon. Okay. So I'm taking my uh, Swedish dishcloth, wiping that off. I'm going to switch over to my board eraser and 
make sure all of that paste is off front and back. Mm, this, uh, this, this drying mat has lots of fuzz on it. I don't want that. So I've got that all cleaned out. And I'm actually going to use it again on the spoon. So ordinarily I tell you to let them air dry, but because I want to use it right away, I'm going to take a paper towel. Dogs are getting excited. I'm going to take a paper towel and just dry that off a bit. And once it's dry, it gets sticky again. And I'm going to place it here in the bowl of the spoon. Okay, now that's, what is it, concave. So I'm going to push it down in there. And that's one good thing about our transfers is they kind of have a little bit of give, a little bit of flexibility so that it could it can go into this curved shape and still stick down. Uh, Melissa's asking, where did you get the torch paste you meant? Sorry, okay. she missed it. I go. got it off of an Etsy, the torch paste shop on Etsy. But torch paste also has just torchpaste.com. You said you had a link for it? I believe under in guides on the on the Raincross Farms maker, Makery. I believe I have a link for it. Um, when I looked before, I don't think it was on Amazon. They have other brands of torch paste, uh, but this is, I don't know if it's like the original. I, I have, it has worked really well. So either go to Etsy and look for, and type in torch paste or torchpaste.com is their website. And you can purchase it from them. We also have a, um, oh, wait a minute, ferrochloride is for. Yeah, that's for, that's that's for, for stainless, stainless steel. steel. Okay. I'm looking for the other one. I'm not seeing the other one. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to. There it is. It, I, I forget how much it is, but you get, I think this is a three ounce jar, 2.6 ounces. And it'll last, it'll last you a good long time. Okay, so I'm going to peel that off, and again, you can see where the torch paste is, and I'll show you how that works in just a moment. Okay, so I'm going to clean this again because it's a chemical, and I really don't want chemicals on my transfers. Again, it has not, it has not affected... It has not affected my transfers that I have used it on, but I have always just instantly cleaned them off. Still just clean them off with water. But it hasn't eaten through my transfers. Okay, so now that's clean. That's clean. I'm gonna let, this time I'm gonna let it air dry because I'm not going to use it right again, right away. I'm sorry, I didn't. Oh, hey, Fran. I see you. You're here. Welcome. Let me tell you, let me show you what we've made. I'm still kind of letting that soak in a little bit. We have been playing with Dollar Tree wooden utensils. So we made these with a napkin and Mod Podge. This was the wet method. So we laid down the napkins on wet Mod Podge and let it dry. And then these we did with the dry method where we put down the Mod Podge and we let it dry. And then we put the napkin down and heat it with an iron and it adheres it. And this one was really cool. If you missed it, you need to go back and watch it. We trimmed this with fire. Woohoo! So another set. And then this one we are going to decorate with torch paste. So I've got the torch paste on there. And to do this, we need, we need heat, but we need a lot more heat than this. 
this will not do it. We need the big daddy. We need the big daddy, the heat gun. This is, Harbor Freight. Uh, this one's from Harbor Freight. I'm looking to see 1500 Watts. And I believe this says that you have to use at least a thousand watt, thousand watt heat gun. Okay. The more heat, the darker the burn. Okay, so you're wanting to get it up to about 400 degrees, and your hair dryer will not do that. If it did, if it did, you would uh, you would not have hair. So, well, I was actually just going to hold it, but I am going to put my heat head. Using that, I'm going to bring this uh, fire extinguisher back out. Okay. Okay, I just have a metal tray. I'm gonna hold this because I don't think it's I don't think this whole thing will get hot. I'm real I'm just gonna heat right here. So it's gonna take a minute for the heat to finally activate the torch paste. And I'm gonna keep the heat gun moving because if I keep it in one spot, it's going to scorch the wood where I don't want it to. I just want it to activate that torch paste. So I'm going to keep this moving and it's going to take just a minute to get that going. Where did he go? I was going to have him go overhead. I was going to have you go overhead with it. Okay. And let's see, this, this pulls a lot of, what is it? Amps or whatever. So I turned off my iron cause I don't want to blow a fuse and, and then we disappear. So, it's probably going to be a little noisy. I apologize, but there we go. And I can see it's already darkening the wood just by itself. Again, Dollar Tree bamboo. Dollar Tree bamboo. And it's going to take a minute to heat up that torch paste to where it will start burning. Starting to. And you kind of see it changing color. And the more heat you apply to it, the darker the color is. So you could stop it now, or you could keep darkening it until you get it how you like it. What do you think? Do you like the little cupcake? It, it's now it's a chocolate cupcake. Okay, so, and this is, this is pretty hot. I could still hold the handle. But this is this is pretty hot, so I'm not going to touch that. And I'm going to do the spoon, same thing. Keep the heat gun moving. Don't get it too close. Now this one should probably go faster because the heat gun is already warmed up. Okay. Going? So you get it just as dark as you'd like it. I'm trying to get it similar to the spatula. And that that heat gun at Harbor Freight is probably about twelve dollars. It's not a real expense. You've got to be careful with them because they they are actually designed to peel paint. 
Yes. Oh, and so make sure when you lay it down, I've got it laid down not on anything that is meltable, but and again, it is it's warm up here, up here it's hot. Okay, but here I can still hold it. And this is this is warm. And I even kind of it even kind of bowed that a little bit. That's okay. I'll smash that down. Okay. So what? Okay, so three sets of three sets of utensils. Cute, cute, cute. Bill says rough. What is rough? Okay, so tell me which is your favorite. The the peel flowers, the sunflowers, or the cupcakes. Okay, let me get that to lay down. Lay down. I'll put this back down on top of it. Your voice was rough. You were asking about the oh, with, my voice with was the rough. noise gate on okay. it. Was, makes it rough to hear. Okay, so tell me your favorite. Teal flowers, sunflowers, no, that, or the or the, the ones you would burn. The wood burn one. You could use those for cooking. You could. Stuff. Yes. That wouldn't be yeah, a big deal. That's, it's not going to come off. It's not yeah. going to hurt you. The torch paste is applied on there, but it is it is cooked okay. out. Anything. Um, you probably don't want to because they're cute, but. Okay, there, that's laid back down. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for some favorite. Tell me your favorite. Some little decorations. Yep. Sunflower. Okay, Linda likes the sunflower. Okay. Now you could use any of our any of our transfers. I just picked that one because I like that little cupcake. But you could use any of our minis. Melissa loves them all, so she's non-committal. She won't do a favorite. Margie likes the sunflower. Okay, I think that might wrap that in jute or ribbon. The flowers. Okay, Cheryl likes the flowers. The these the teal flowers. I'm assuming. So, a couple different designs. We just kind of played with stuff, and we did okay. Okay. I was thinking I would need to paint the the spoons white, but I don't. I don't think it sh it showed through too much. I was afraid that the the brown of the wood would show through and change the color of the napkins, but I don't think it did. Okay. Spring, summer, and baker. Okay, yeah, close second. To, okay. Oh, spring, summer. Oh, that's spring. very true. Okay, I'm thinking these might these might need to find a way to my craft fair next week. Okay, Patty likes the flowers. Awesome. Okay, well, that was fun. I hope you liked just. Crafting. If you're interested in this transfer, I do have a I do have a cart link. It is if, if you it's in the pinned comments. I believe it's cake. If you type the word cake, it'll give you a link to this transfer. But, <coughs> but I didn't do a lot with our chalking stuff tonight because I just wanted because I know you said you sometimes you just like to craft. So that's what we did. So a couple of different ways that you can use Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree things and make cute little things for your for your kitchen. So let me see if I can get these held up and we can get a picture and then we can skedaddle and you can skedaddle and okay. Am, am I showing them all? Close enough. Get your face on. There you go. Just do that. Okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold, why don't we hold, hold on. on. Hold on, that was You're okay. a good card dealer. Okay, cute, cute, cute. So thanks so much for hanging out with us. And thank you for sharing. Thank you for any stars you sent. Thank you for supporting us. And please, if you think of somebody that you think would want to do something like this, tag them in the video and share it with them. So 
thanks so much. We will be, uh, oh yes, we will definitely be live tomorrow night, 6.15, because we're sharing into Craft Around the Clock. They're having Scrap Wood Week, so you'll have to come and see my take on Scrap Wood Project, and you'll love it. And we should, hopefully, we'll have a whole bunch of other people watching, and we'll have a great old time. So we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Do something creative every day. Bye-bye.